Hello, and welcome to Nostalgia Dirt Series Countdown to the Nationals. I'll tell you, I'm getting really excited. I've been getting the phone calls are coming in about different questions, uh, different people letting me know they're going to be there. Uh, my good friend Steve Tanner's showing up. The Gustafsons will be on hand. Um, Alan Guthrie got a hold of me today. Him and Becky are showing up. They're going to be there. Hate to drop names. Mark Noble. Uh, I think Larry Portis might be showing up. Doug Hilson. A lot of my heroes from racing uh, are going to be showing up. So just really excited about that. Uh, the, the calls that are coming in. It looks like it's going to be uh, a really great time of racing, vintage racing, at the Kasuth County Speedway in Algona, Iowa. Joe and Ben and, and I are very busy uh, getting last minute details. Uh, we, Joe went and talked to, uh, we've got some shirts on order, so we'll have some uh, shirts on hand that you can buy uh, with our logo on it and stuff. Uh, We've got a very special car coming that is dedicated to the veterans, is going to be helping us with our tribute. So I'm pretty excited about that. We got our uh, flag man, Ron Fox, coming out of retirement. He's going to do some awesome flagging on Sunday. So just lots and lots of cool things coming this weekend. And it's coming like a freight train to the Algona area, Algona, Iowa, the Kasuth County Speedway. So really excited about it. So today, the countdown to the Nationals, uh, I want to talk a little bit about our timeline. On Saturday, we're going to have one entrance. We're going to be entering at the main entrance. And if I have my directions right, we're going to be entering at the main entrance. And I think it is at the north end of the fairgrounds. All other entrances will be closed off. Uh, we will have personnel on hand with our yellow Nostalgia Dirt Series uniforms on that say official on the back, and they'll be able to guide you to uh, camping, uh, where the camping spots are. They'll be able to uh, sell you wristbands and tickets for pit passes and the grandstands, different things, uh, let you know where events are, uh, just I'll have officials on hand to be able to show you what happens or what's going on there. And I personally will be there Thursday on the fairgrounds, just getting set up and, and making sure that uh, everything is perfect for the uh, people, all you people that are coming for to participate in the Nostalgia Dirt Series Nationals. I just uh, puts a smile on my face. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So today I want to talk about a couple things, the timeline. Uh, 7 a.m., the, uh, the, I'm going to open up for the swap meet people. And I, um, I haven't heard a lot from people who are interested in a swap meet, swap meet, it's easy for you to say, swap meet uh, booth. So I hope I have people that want to uh, rent space to sell their items, uh, shocks and tires and anything racing, chassis, uh, anything nostalgia. Uh, please bring it out. We'll be happy to, to provide a space for you to sell your, your items at our swap meet. Uh, if God forbid, I shouldn't say this, but if it rains, we do have, we're going ahead with festivities anyway rain or shine uh, on Saturday. Um, I have the Beckendorf building. Scott Schultz has graciously just these guys, Ron Reefer, Scott Schultz, Edgar Meyer, I just can't tout them enough about how much they have helped make this event possible. This is why Algona is our home base track and these guys are amazing. So I have the Beckendorf building so we can have the swap meet inside under the roof if we need to. And uh, we'll be opening up the gates and letting people in and get it set up for the swap meet at uh, 7 a.m. The swap meet will actually be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are going to have on track time. So uh, people that want to test their cars out, make sure they're working right, get familiar with the track. Uh, we're doing that from, uh, we're going to have a pit meeting at 10 a.m. My insurance company has some rules. Uh, the open track time has to be ran differently from the actual races on Sunday. Uh, different, different methods of doing things. So my insurance company will be happy with me 
got to keep them happy, definitely. Uh, so we'll be having a pit meeting before open track time in the pits. And then we'll be having tests and tune from 11 till 3. And if we don't get enough tests and tune in, I will be happy to extend it another hour. I have had some other cars other than nostalgia cars ask about bringing their cars to test and tune. And I will... I will make a space for you guys to be able to uh, block out some time for people that want to test other race cars uh, to do that. So I've got a couple, uh, I think Stock Cars was asking about getting on the track and having some track time. And uh, we'll just have to pay a pit pass and we'll, we'll uh, get that accommodated. So that is Saturday. Track time from 11 till 3 could possibly ex be extended to 4. Uh, also on Saturday, we're encouraging you to bring out your uh, race cars. Uh, and not just race cars, but uh, vintage cars, street cars, uh, nostalgia cars, trucks, uh, you, know, you know, pickups, that kind of stuff. Bring them out for our car show. We will start lining up the car show at 3.30, 4 o'clock. And that's going to be around the festivities for that night. The DJ, we're going to be playing 50s and 60s, 70s music. We're going to have the beverage garden uh, around then and just fellowship to kind of show you what you get for uh, signing up for the racing experience. Uh, Joe has graciously volunteered to give, give uh, some, some rides in the two-seater nostalgia race car. So I will have that on hand. That'll be Saturday as well. Uh, and then moving into Sunday. So the pit gates will be open at 9, 9 a.m. Uh, we will be having a pit meeting uh, with all the drivers at 10. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be seeing what kind of cars show up. You know, I'm, again, this is open to any and all nostalgia cars. Uh, coupes, six cylinders, V8s stock class, super stock class, um, all kinds of, you know, just late models, modifieds, midgets. This is open to any vintage race car. So I will be kind of looking the cars over and classing them. And there's some people that would like to do just exhibition and don't want to race. And we will be having uh, a, a venue for that on Sunday for the exhibition. We will be having our pit meeting at uh, 10 o'clock, and then the races will start on Sunday promptly at 11. And again, uh, this is a standalone, stand on its own, nostalgia, vintage race car event. And I want to show out all different kinds of uh, race cars. And I want to hear all the different kinds of stories and and show out the people and, and uh, the people that want to come see this, we just we welcome you into the grandstands. Uh, these uh, grandstands have history of their own. They're wooden. They're covered. They're amazing. Uh, we're going to have a food vendor on hand, burning uh, concessions will be there, supplying food. I think they're going to have snow cones and cotton candy and different kinds of food. And uh, Ron is going to open up the uh, concessions for beverages at the stands as well for you people that come out on Sunday to watch the racing. So uh, the racing on Sunday will uh, promptly start at 11. Uh, we'll be doing hot laps uh, at 11 for all the different classes, the different cars. Then after hot laps, we're gonna go into our tributes. Uh, we're gonna be doing a tribute to the Gustafson family that did the race reunion in Webster City for so many years. And uh, we're going to be doing a tribute to my good friend, Marty and Monty Pringle, and, and honoring them. We're also going to be doing a tribute to veterans. So we've got some really cool things planned for you people that come out to, to the stands to watch this on Sunday. So again, the races start at promptly, uh, hot laps are at 11. The pit, gate, pit meeting is at 10, and the gates will open at 9 a.m. on Sunday. So for you that are coming to do racing, uh, uh, I lost my, well, I lost my spot. So 
Camping fees. For you, you that are coming for the weekend, camping fees I'm covering. With uh, I'm going to be paying the track for camping fees. I know the fuel prices are <clears throat> very high, and, and I just appreciate all these people that are coming long distances. So I'm trying to offer some um, some sort of relief from having this be a really expensive venture. But I also promise you it will be a blessing. Uh, our first priority is uh, putting Christ first and keeping racing history alive. We've got some really cool uh, stories, many stories to tell and show out and fellowship and that kind of stuff. So uh, we're just uh, we're just really excited about this. A four tenths mile speedway. I've had some questions about what gear to run. Myself, I like to run 6,000 to 6,500 RPMs on the racetrack. So I run a 600 gear, 60 gear at the Cassis County Speedway. So for those of you that are kind of scratching their heads and wondering what gear to run, I feel that that's the 600 gear is the best gear for that, for that racetrack. And so uh, any questions you have, feel free to call me, text me. Jared Mills has put up on our nostalgiadirtseries.com, again, the timeline, uh, some links to getting tickets early. Grandstands will be free for watching Test and Tune on Saturday, but you can order your pit passes early. Last but not least, I want to talk about the museum on the fairgrounds at the Cassis County Speedway. This museum is uh, breathtakingly awesome. It's an over a million dollar building. Uh, it's a beautiful building. Uh, they have so many neat things, not just uh, performance or, or racing history, but ag, uh, some cool tractors, different things that people used on the farm, just a whole variety. Uh, if you're into nostalgia racing, there's all kinds of pictures. Uh, this track's been going since the 1930s, and they've got pictures and just all kinds of things at the Cassius County uh, Ag Museum, the uh, speedway there. And we're going to have that open from one to four Saturday and Sunday. So there's just going to be, you know, I know my wife really isn't into racing and that kind of stuff. So there are some things uh, for her to be able to do. Um, so Renee asked, that's a good question, Renee, about pit passes. So the pit pass, you'll have to buy one for uh, Saturday and one for Sunday. So, uh, and you can go online or the, we'll have people on hand at the entrance to be able to help uh, with that stuff, with the wristbands and the tickets for the stands and stuff like that. So uh, those are all great questions. Renee is awesome. I'm so glad that you're a part of our racing family and Cameron and, and your whole family. You're very treasured to us. I know God has great things and, and uh, I, just, I just can't wait to see all my friends and, and get together and celebrate living in America. This is such a great country. Just if you have a, a vintage car, you're welcome to come race with us. Uh, different clubs around around the United States, please go ahead and bring them and we will figure out a class for you to run in. And if you're not comfortable, there's some people that just want to do some exhibition and we will definitely set aside on Sunday you to come out and go around the track and, and not be in race situations. We've got some cars coming that are very priceless and there's no replacing them if they get wrecked. And so they're going to be running an exhibition separately and we're going to be talking about those cars as they're going around the track and uh, it's just going to be really really unique have a good rest of your day i'll see you tomorrow live from the racetrack we'll be walking around the campgrounds showing you the shower houses um, where the beverage tent is going to be and uh, just different things showing you the racetrack and the grandstands so i'll just spend time walking around talking about the racetrack and and what's going to be happening so thank you so much let's keep racing history alive and i will see you tomorrow thank you <laughs>